The Rajkumars, widely known as Sandalwood's first family, cast their vote at Sadashiv Nagar today. Pawan star Puneet Rajkumar, his brother Raghavendra Rajkumar and the late actor's wife Parvathama Rajkumar exercised their franchise. News line caught up with Puneet Rajkumar on the occasion and this is what the past star had to say. One of the most influential families in Sadashiv Nagar has to be the Rajkumar family and I have with me Puneet Rajkumar who just cast his vote. Let's ask Mr. Puneet. Puneet, uh, you are one of the well-known faces in this area and um, how do you persuade your friends and family to actually exercise their birthright and their democratic right? Yeah. Being a responsible citizen, I've, uh, I've advertised for the voting committee then been requesting through all the media wherever I've been asked to tell. So I think it's important to vote. And it is necessary to vote. Okay. Yeah. How is the situation like now? The things kind of change when your own family members are contesting the election this time. So, okay. uh, do you face a lot of questions from other people as to whether you're being biased or whether you're actually, you know, no, actually, selling it? I've been clear from the day one that, you know, of course, uh, my sister in law's uh, got into uh, politics and it's her will and wish. It's my brother's family's will and wish. And uh, I definitely wish her all the best. And uh, uh, I've never campaigned, so I've not gone to it. Okay. You are known as the power star of Sandalwood. Uh, give a powerful message to all the Bangaloreans and uh, Indians out there that how, why they should exercise this important right of theirs. No, if it's if I've been titled the power star, it's the power what is given to me is by the public. So I've told them again, and I've been here telling them repeatedly, please vote. Yeah. While most members of Rajkumar family cast their vote in the morning, Shiv Rajkumar and wife Geeta, who is contesting polls from Shumoga constituency exercise their franchise later in the evening. Golden Star Ganesh too cast his vote from Putin Harley constituency. Accompanied by his wife, Ganesh was one of the early voters at the polling booth. The fame actor spoke to News 9 and said that he was happy to see a better turnout this time around. Well, Golden Star Ganesh and his wife have just cast their vote here in GP Nagar. They have come out and we'll talk to them. Well, first of all, a very increasing queue here. Yeah, yeah. I felt very happy when I came early morning here. Last time the crowd was not so much, uh, queue was not so big queue. But today at morning, early morning queue is very big, so I felt very happy. So I request all the uh, people to come out of the house and uh, vote your rights. Well, ma'am, are you a regular voter? Have you voted several times before? Of course, we never miss out on this chance. And uh, I'm very glad and very happy to see that uh, the turnout is really good. In fact, uh, everywhere in India, the turnout has been very good this time. It's a good sign and I request each, each one of them to come out and vote. Would you say something to your fans on this day? They would tell Ache Bandhu, vote Madi, Belik Belik and Nanu Kuda vote Madi Dini. Don't miss your rights, please vote. Sandalwood actor Jayamala also exercised her franchise today at Sanjanagar. Speaking to News 9, Jayamala said that it was the right of every citizen to cast their vote. Now, everybody knows uh, Dollars Colony is a very popular area in Bengaluru and it's also popular because it has uh, eminent Sandalwood actress Jayamala living in that area. I have with me the actress herself, uh, Mrs. Jayamala, you have come here to uh, cast your vote. How do you feel about this? It's a very special feeling to exercise your democratic right, isn't it? Of course. This is uh, my rights, actually. I'm very happy that uh, I voted Congress <laughs> and I'm very happy. And I'm, uh, I'll request uh, the entire Bangalore, entire Karnataka people, please vote for, uh, please vote yourself. Sandalwood actor Radhika Pandit also cast a vote from Gayatri Nagar today. Another star who came out to exercise this franchise was actor Kitcha Sudhi. The famed actor cast his vote from JP Nagar. Challenging star Darshan also cast his vote today from Rajarajeshwari Nagar. Celebrities heckled by EVM malfunction. Many people have been unable to cast their votes this election due to many reasons such as omission of names from list, technical snags and so on. Even celebrities were not spared. Sandalwood star Pranita Subhash, who was also to cast a vote for the first time, faced some serious trouble when the EVMs in a polling booth were hit by technical snag. Polling is there, but the uh, machine work up there and the hell so one hour ago something. So my hopes it can be there because the uh, ECP and the Ashtandu, you know, uh, I was really keen to vote and uh, but you know, Madakagala, so machine problem is there. 
ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬರ್ತೀವಿ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಬೇರೆ ಅವರು ಯುನೋ ಅವ್ರು ಅವ್ರಿಗೂ ಅಪ್ಸೆಟ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅಷ್ಟೊಂದು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಕ್ಯೂ ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಂತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮಷೀನ್ ಕೆಟ್ಟೋಗಿದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೂ ಅಪ್ಸೆಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಹೋಪ್ಫುಲಿ ಅವ್ರು ವಾಪಸ್ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಅನ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ Yeah, I'm very happy to be here at uh, uh, at the polling booth and I'm done with my voting and I've contributed to to the country. I feel like that. Nagati Halli Chandrasekhar, a noted director, also faced problems while casting his vote in Banshankari. Although the problem was rectified, many people were stalled from exercising their rights for quite some time. News 9 caught up with Chandrasekhar and this is what he had to say. The other very important thing, it's very nice to see the people with the pride face only one day in their life <laughs> probably i hope this pride should continue for a lifetime unfortunately voter will have the pride for a day the next you know till the election comes he is like a beggar he is like a, a wandering between the tables wandering between office to office to get it done his work all sort of uh, you know in that sense people call it matadana i say it's not matadana it's, it's not right to use word dana it's mata chalavane we are casting our vote so that should be the approach and the meaning of uh, casting the vote and other very important thing this time i'm very happy to see the uh, huge crowd which was not there in the earlier election Yash casts a VIP vote. While most of the actors patiently stood in the queue with other voters to exercise their franchise, actor Yash cast his vote like a VIP. Yash was seen jumping the queue and directly walked into the polling booth while people were left waiting. Many luminaries also cast their vote. Film stars apart, many noted personalities were also spotted at the ballot booths today. Former Loka Ekta Justice Santosh Hegde, noted writer and Gyan Peter Wadi, Professor U R Anant Murthy, noted theatre artist Master Hiranaya and Mohandas Pai were some of the luminaries who exercised their franchise today. Karnataka's Chief Electoral Officer Anil Kumar Jha has also cast his vote. Bengaluru Police Commissioner Raghavendra Auradkar too was a luminary who cast his vote today. On the whole it was a starry election in Bengaluru while many celebrities have taken time off their busy schedules to exercise their franchise the overall voter turnout in the city seems disappointing a new stand report well you saw the first time voters casting their votes enthusiastically but there is another group of people that uh, never miss voting they are young at heart and they are surely an inspiration to all those who have failed to participate in the big vote Take a look. Meet the enthusiastic voters. Some came on crutches, some on wheelchairs, some were supported by their loving family members and some walked strong and sturdy. Unlike several youngsters who were complaining about the serpentine queues, these voters were willing to brave the heat and the queues alike. and we would like to say these senior citizens and specially abled people's efforts did not go unnoticed on the voting day bidar these centurions are young at heart meet the 105 year old resident of bidar she is frail and weak but her spirit is so strong that she sought help of a person to carry her to the polling booth and drop her back home The intention was plain and simple to vote how many ever times until her last breath. Though all of 105 years the woman bared the scorching heat and came to the polling booth to cast her vote. But the elderly lady had one complaint to make. On her way back she mustered courage to say that despite voting all these years the government had failed to even make an arrangement for her one time meal. This woman was not the only senior citizen who enthusiastically came to the polling booth. 
A concerned voter who could barely walk was seen accompanied by her dear ones to the polling booth. Even the BJP candidate Bhagwant Kuba's mother was seen accompanying him to the polling booth despite her old age in Bidar. Haveri Take a look at this picture. You can barely guess his age and if we say he is 114 years old, you might be surprised. Meet Amir Saab Patil of Hirekiruru in Haveri district. He was hell-bent on casting his vote and asked one of his family members to carry him to the polling booth. The man looked all happy and also got himself clicked after exercising his franchise. Tumkur in Tumkur, two high-profile voters managed to draw the attention of one and all. One was 107-year-old Siddhaganga Matsya Sri Shivakumar Swamiji and the other was former MLA Timme Gowda who is 103 years old. Both the biggies made it to the polling booth with a little bit of support and cast their votes. Bengaluru Moving on to Namma City, senior citizens were the most enthusiastic voters at many places here. In most of the polling booths, senior citizens managed to make an early entry and cast their votes for the leader of their choice. While several elderly voters sought the help of their family members to reach the polling booth, the others were seen walking into the booth with the help of walking sticks, crutches and wheelchairs. Amongst the senior citizens, one popular face was freedom fighter Dore Swami. A nonagenarian, Dore Swami made it to the polling booth and cast his vote. He also appealed to the young voters to exercise their franchise for better governance. Voto Madabaka the Kartavia de Yella Balagana vote Madavilla Manelita, our Yella on the Pil Madabaco, they will to Elru Bandu vote Madi, they said the Bushiana Rupusta Kanta on the Okasha. In the Santa Badali, the Utopus Kondre, Brastrige, Dustrige, Urige, Okasha Madkutta Kagate. While the freedom fighters spoke of our right to vote, there were other senior citizens who spoke at length about how things had changed and why they had to put in all effort to stand in line to vote. Then there were some separate boxes were there, yellow, green, red, etc. And to, uh, to, to certain parties, we will have to vote only the boxes. No, there was no, it was so rude it seems, uh, the, uh, even boxes can be mixed up. At, uh, at the time of uh, counting, but that has been s slightly modified, and afterwards uh, 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 this uh, ballot papers came, and since the candidates were in large numbers, so, uh, we were asked to fold fold the paper in a different fashion, and uh, that was a, 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 that was an experience for us because, uh, as a presiding officer, I was I I just uh, in. About uh, six to seven times I went as a presiding officer. I had to teach them how to fold the paper because here this uh, ink mark will come on the, the left side of it becomes invalid. Mm -hmm. So like that it has gone. Now uh, the AVM has come. It is still um, further modified. Several of the senior citizens stated that they had lived a good life and they wanted their grandchildren to have a good future. Amongst these voters, there were several who had voted so many times that they had lost count. One amongst them was 77-year-old Nyan Peter Wadi, Chandrasekhar Kambara. <laughs> Well, as you can see, age and ailments did not deter lakhs of elderly voters in Nama State who turned up earnestly to exercise their franchise. This is because more than a privilege or a right, they considered voting their duty. So these people have fulfilled their duty towards the nation and have put to shame the younger lot who prefer to stay at home and chill out. 
They surely salute their spirit. And News 9 report.